Welcome back, Devils fans, and our beloved New Jersey Devils lost a tough one in Tampa tonight by a score of 4-3. to three. The injury bug is, is a bitch. The injury bug is a tough thing to overcome. We go into the game icing nearly half of an AHL team with the remaining half of our NHL squad, and we fought hard. We fought hard tonight, and we did enough to win. But in the end, it just was not meant to be. It was not meant to be tonight in Tampa. Let's take a look at the scoring. In a rare occasion, the New Jersey Devils get on the board first. Dawson Mercer with unbelievable moves gets to the net, gets jammed up a little bit, stays with the puck, and channels his inner Jack Hughes and fires it from a sharp angle, banking it off of Vasilevsky's back and into the net giving the Devils a 1-0 lead on an incredible effort by Dawson Mercer. The lead did not last long. About five minutes later at 12.35, Tampa ties it up at one. Glendening on a great redirect on a shot from the point. Can't blame VTech there. Perfectly executed redirection right in front. Game tied at one. And then at 18.22, Tampa takes a 2-1 lead when Luke Hughes just has a, a brain fart of sorts, loses the puck, and Glendening again fires it past Vanacek. That one I thought Vanacek certainly could have had, and I think he should have had it. Um, you know, Devils down 2-1 after one. We go to the second period. Delayed penalty call. Tampa cycling in our end, get fresh bodies on, and Point just kind of slides undetected into the slot right in front. Pass comes to him, and he buries it, giving the Tampa Bay Lightning a 3-1 to one lead at that juncture, but the Devils were not done just yet. At 16.54, off a little skirmish in front, Jesper Bratt cuts the lead to 3-2. to two. Devils down 3-2, to two, heading into the third. And at 3.53, Nate Bastion on a beautiful breakaway, does not squander the opportunity, buries it in the back of the net, tying the game at three. And what Nate, great game from Nate tonight. He had a lot of physicality, getting in there, mixing it up a bit, and then he buried it. He buried it on the breakaway. Always liked Nate, one of our grinder guys, and he's going to have to definitely step up and contribute a little bit more with all these injuries we have going on at the moment. And then what I thought was kind of BS is on that McLeod goal that got called called back on an offside, I would love to see the angles that they're looking at, um, that the league is looking at, because it was reviewed and they eventually called it back. That was so super, super close. I just It just sucks with the, these video reviews. Like That was a super, super close one. I don't see the, how they would have had a definitive angle or anything where they could say for sure – that it should not have been a goal. It was that close. The angles they showed on TV, in my opinion, did not show anything definitively. You're talking about probably fractions of an inch, and it was a tough one. I thought maybe because it was so close that they would say it was inconclusive or whatever. They didn't have enough to overturn it, but hometown calls maybe for the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Devils' temporary 4-3 to three lead is wiped off the board. And the game remains tied at three. We head to overtime. And, and that's all she wrote for us. Radish in the overtime off a great play from Kucherov. Protecting, shielding the puck. Gets down low. Throws it back across. And Radish just does a nice little wristy. Right past Vanacek. And I thought Vanacek could have had that one as well. Um, you know, tough loss. Very glad to secure the point. We need to scrounge up as many points as we possibly can when all of these guys are injured. And so it's a big road point. It does feel like a point got away and we could have possibly won this game in regulation. Being that we're chasing Tampa in the standings, to have gotten two points in regulation and them get zero would be huge. But instead of uh, net two points in relation to Tampa in the standings, we now are minus one because we get one point and they get two. So they gained a point on us. And that's why these, these games are, are crucial. 
The standings are ridiculously tight, and it's going to be tight the whole way down the stretch. And with all these injuries, we just need to, to keep our head above water for the time being. It's going to be a rough road. Um, as most of you know, our second half schedule is the toughest in the league by opponent playing tons of games against teams projected to have 100 or more points. And so with all these injuries and the tough schedule ahead, it's, it's not going to be easy for this New Jersey Devils club to stay afloat. Hopefully they find a way. I will say that I did not think it was a great game from Vitek Vanacek. He made some big saves, but in the end, there was two that I thought he definitely could have had, could have, should have had, whatever you want to call it. And that's the difference between winning and losing games in this league. If you guys noticed, Vasilevsky made tons of great saves. I think he stopped Brad on two breakaways alone. There was a ton of other chances where he just came up big and bailed his team out when it mattered. And it just seems like on this season, we're not getting those bailout saves from our goalies. And not just VTech, kind of across the board. I've acknowledged the fact that our defense has been porous and we do give up very quality chances against all the time. But the goalie needs to make some saves here and there. And it just seems like we haven't been getting it especially from Vitek Vanacek. And tonight was another one of those nights where, you know, with a better netminder in between the pipes, we could have easily won this game. And so I am now wondering if Fitz is going to do anything or if he's just going to say, you know what, we, he's going to use kind of the injury, I'm going to call it the injury excuse or the injury bailout. Because of all these injuries, they can easily go back and say, oh, you know, we had a good team, we were riddled with injuries and blah, 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 and that's why, blah, 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 blah. And it sucks to throw away a season. And it seems as time goes on that he may not be willing to pay the price for what it's going to take to get a legit goalie here and correct his wrong of the VTech Vanacek signing. But the signing was a bad one, obviously. That's been proven, and it's time to move on. It's time to cut our losses and fold them up. Vanacek cannot continue to come out for this club. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I'm not trying to be super negative, but we're still in the race here. We're still in the playoff hunt. And I think with all these injuries and continuing to play Vanacek, we're going to be sliding down the standings very quickly. I hope that Fitz goes out and addresses the situation. I think many of you now have seen that goaltending is a major issue and it needs to be addressed. If they don't do anything on the season, I'll honestly be, it'd be one of the more disappointing things for me as a Devils fan in quite some time because the talent is there. We show it at times. We, we beat Boston a few weeks back. We, we could play great teams tight. We could beat great teams. But with that, we also play down to the competition, and we've lost to some really shitty teams too. Those, that San Jose and Anaheim losses at home, those are going to be two that, that really may come back to haunt us, amongst many other little things that didn't go our way throughout the season. But it's time for Fitz to make a move. We're, we're now, it's January 11th. I mean, the All-Star break is in a few weeks you know, if, if Vanacek is still on the roster after the All-Star break, I will be very, very disappointed because we're not really trying to make a push then. If we just stand pat, then Fitz is just going to chalk this year up and say, okay, well, our window is, is we're coming into the prime of a lot of these players and I don't want to waste assets to get a goalie now. Let me reassess in the off season or next season, whatever it is. But, you know, teams age quickly. They age quickly, and every year with this group is a precious year to try to capitalize and win a Stanley Cup. And so I hope that we do get active in the trade market. I would love a defenseman as well. But goaltending needs to be addressed immediately. It really does. We're going nowhere fast with the goalies we have right now. And this, tonight was just a, a bitter loss for me. You know, it's not – it's nowhere near – one of the worst ones of the season, but it is painful because the game was there for the taking. We did have the goal waved off, and it just sucks. It sucks. Let me know what you guys thought about the game in the comments. Do you think we're going to ever get a goalie? I feel like this is Groundhog Day. Every video I'm talking about, are we going to get a goalie? Are we going to just stick with what we have? But every game I watch, it's the same, you know, it's kind of the same movie over and over again. After we scored the first goal, I have multiple different Devils-related text groups and in one of my groups, in one of my groups, shout out to my friend Jordan. He might be um, one of the only people that's more critical of VTech Vanacek than I am. And he's, he's very, very critical of Vanacek. But after the first goal, he said, 
VTech will VTech will still ensure we get smoked though. And I was like, you jinx. But you know, in the end he was right. And so it's time for something to change. Please, Fitzy, please get us a goalie, please. Tonight was a very winnable game with a better goalie in the net. That's just a fact. Not a lot of work for Vanacek. Let's just look at the stats here. Devils with 30 shots on goal. Tampa Bay with 20. Face-offs very even. 51.1 for the Devils. 48.9 for the Bolts. No one scored on the power play. 10 penalty minutes for the Devils. 6 for the Lightning. 21 hits for the Devils. 26 for the Lightning. 7 block shots to the Devils. 15 for the Lightning. Devils gave it away once. The Lightning gave it away five times. Takeaways. Big difference here. Three for the Devils and 12 for the Lightning. But, you know, simple math, guys. Four goals on 20 shots. That is a save percentage of 800. That is horrible. Horrible. I don't blame him for two of the goals, but two of them I think he easily should have stopped. The second and fourth goals were just wrist shots right at him with no traffic, no nothing. You got to make those saves in this game. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Another tough one. Glad we secured a road point with all these injuries, and we just got to find a way to keep battling. It's going to be a rough road ahead. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils.